these gorgeous little bourbon biscuits make a fabulous Easter treat. Now I'm going to start by putting some unsalted butter into a food processor. Add a little pinch of salt and some caster sugar and we'll just pulse those together. And then once that's nice and creamy, I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of golden syrup. Pour that straight in and the same of cream. There we go. And then in goes some flour, cocoa powder and half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Pop the lid back on and whiz until it forms fairly soft dough. There we go. Now just carefully lift out that blade and then because it's quite a soft dough I'm going to pop it into the fridge to chill. Take out roughly half of the mixture shape it into a ball, be very rough about this and then wrap it in cling film and then just do the same with the second piece and just flatten it down a little bit to make it easier to roll and that needs to go into the fridge now for about an hour just to firm up. So my dough has chilled and it's nice and firm now so I'm going to roll out the first piece. So just lift off the cling film and I'm rolling it between two sheets of parchment paper just to make sure it doesn't stick to the surface. So just roll away from you and you can rotate the dough as you go and just continue to roll in the same direction. You want it to be quite nice and thin. We're looking for about three millimetres in thickness. Let's have a little look at that. I'm going to be using an egg-shaped cutter and it depends on the size to how many biscuits you'll get. But try and stamp them out quite close together. Just lift away those trimmings and you can re-roll those again to make more biscuits. And then with a palette knife, carefully place on a parchment lined baking tray. And they won't spread very much while they're baking so you don't need to leave too big a gap. Just a little bit of space between each one should be fine. So my biscuits are ready to bake. I'm going to pop them into the oven and then I'm going to leave them to cool completely on a wire rack then we'll be ready to finish them off. So my biscuits have cooked and cooled and I'm ready to assemble them. Now in this bag here, this is a freezer bag, I've got some chopped chocolate and the kettle has just boiled. So pour that hot water on top of the bag. We're just gonna leave that to melt. And while that's happening, we're gonna make the filling for sandwiching the biscuits together. With a wooden spoon, I'm just going to beat together some butter. I'm just going to soften it first and then I'm going to add some icing sugar, some cocoa powder and I've got some cream here. I'm just going to pop that in too and then just bring it all together with your wooden spoon. So that's our filling ready and I'll just spread that onto each of the biscuits. You only need a fairly thin layer and when each of your bases have got a nice layer of filling, you can pop the lids on top. I'm just going to dust the surfaces with some cocoa powder. Now let's take a look at that melted chocolate. So I'm just going to use a tea towel to catch any drips. And you can see it's melted really perfectly inside there. I think this is a fantastic trick. It means no need for a piping bag or a bain-marie. So just twist the top and then take off the very end and still keeping them on the cooling rack, I'm going to pipe the chocolate over the biscuits. Just in a diagonal zigzag. And then all we need to do is leave them to set and your lovely Easter biscuits are ready to serve. And for more baking recipes, don't forget to click to subscribe.